So, and the lions overpowered them. And the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones in pieces before they ever came to the bottom of the den. Uh, this is also interesting because Yahweh ordered that not one bone should be broken uh, from the lamb. The lamb that was prepared for Pesach. None of his bones could be broken. That's why when Yahushua was on the cross dying, the Romans were about to break his knees, but then they realized that he was already dead, so they didn't. So none of his bones were broken, like it was prophesied through the Lamb of Pesach. But we see here that the evil ones, when they fall, all their bones will be broken, which is to show um, the difference between the punishment that the Malachim, the fallen angels, and the men that follow those fallen angels will receive. The bones are like the pillars of the body, the also source of the regeneration of the body. So that's why they were broken as representing that they won't be resurrected or at least won't be resurrected for good. They will be resurrected to be punished and sent to the lake of fire since we're talking about hell right now. So their bones being broken represents that they won't be justified, that they won't be resurrecting for eternal life before the throne of Yahweh. 